So Mike, uh, another day, uh, another town, another koi farm here at Takigawa Koi Farm in the town of Serra. Uh, yes. And so what are we hoping for this morning? Well, today I'm hoping to get hold of Tatikoi Kahaku from the fish house behind us. Uh, but I'm after the very top level ones that he's got. And other than that, he's got some Sanki from a new parent breeding, um, which is Momotaro female mm -hmm. and Momotaro male. Okay. Previously, he used to use Dainichi on okay. the male side. So I'm very interested in these Sanki also. And just a few Yamabuki also. He's got some Yamabuki that he's actually bought from Izumiya, um, which is keeping his tatty boy as future parents. Okay. But I'm hoping to get a handful of those as well. Um, what I'm doing here is talking to Takigawa san about the parent koi um, and the lineage um, of those koi. The female Sankey's offspring that we're going to look at, the mother is a 90cm uh, Momotaro Ryu Sankey. Um, and the male side is an 81cm Mako Sankey. Um, with very good sumi as well on the male parent, so the fish look promising, um, but we shall see. Mike and Takigawa san head into the koi house, where they visit the various ponds discussing the tosai they contain. Takigawa san and Mike start to make the first pond in the koi house, a pond containing predominantly shower. I'm not actually really after showa. Um, I'm actually looking for Tancho showa because there's two or three in here. And apart from having people always wanting Tancho showa, every year I try to find my wife the perfect Tancho showa. Um, something of a challenge, but we had a really big one years ago with about 87 centimeters. Um, the fish died a couple of years ago. So I've been trying ever since to try and get hold of something good enough to replace it. So after we found the Canton Shower, the right one as it were, the next will be Sanki. Takigawa San selects the best Tensho Shower from the pond and place it into a bowl. Takigawa San checks for Oboshi, small bumps that appear on the gill covers and pectoral fins of male koi in breeding season. Mike and Takigawa San move on to the pond containing Sanki discussed earlier. Well, kind of trippy, um, water's a little bit green, but there's some good fish in here. Just a matter of finding the right ones. I'm looking obviously for a good body type to enable the fish to get big, um, but also the quality's got to be there. I mean, it's, it's no good having size without quality, and it's no good obviously having um, something that perhaps a pattern just completely undesirable as well. So I'm trying to find a good balance between quality, size, potential, and the style of the fish as well. Some good ones in here, but it's kind of difficult. A lot of the fish's key was not really so good, the key was kind of a little bit broken up. Um, some of those will come good in a mud pond, but to raise those in a concrete pond environment, I think it's a little bit on the difficult side. As Mike and Takigawa san observe the koi, Takigawa san passes his own assessment. <laughs> Confronted by the massive red, white and black, spotting the right koi is a challenge in itself.
Mike finally spots one, which is duly netted and bowled. Another Maritain Sankey is also netted. will improve in the mud pond but it's difficult to kind of read and understand what's going to happen with those toys. But we've got two that are pretty good, uh, one in particular, so uh, we'll talk about those in a moment. Taki Gowasan attempts to sex the koi, first checking for Oiboshi and then seeing if milk can be extracted from the vent. These are the two that I like. Um, one of them I'm not so keen on because the pector or thing um, has got a lot of sumi in there. Um, the body also I don't really favour quite so much. The Maritan here I think is a much better toy and also stands to get hopefully get sumi in good places like on the shoulder area here, through the back. But I think in the future this one would be good. Good sound here, very difficult. The one with the sumi in the pectoral fin is returned to the pond. Mike and Sakigawa-san look around another pond, some of the koi in it appearing to warrant attention. Well this pond of sand here, siblings are the ones that we just pulled up. Um, but these are a little bit smaller and really some of the patterns, although they're quite interesting, they kind of lack balance, like sort of front to back balance. And I don't really think there's a lot of mileage and pull on all of these up because I think the chances are that I'm not really going to find anything that I want anyway. Um, I've just studied the next pond on Kohaku and really there's nothing in there. All of the ones with good patterns are a lot smaller and a lot weaker in their structure so it's difficult to find good ones in there. There's no point in just buying the smaller ones with good patterns because at the end of the day they will probably struggle to get big uh, compared to the siblings. With that, we embarked on the longest leg of our journey to Kyushu Island on a visit to Okawa Koi Farm. So Mike, uh, 
yesterday after uh, Takigawa I travelled about 400 kilometres down to Okawa, where we are now, Okawa Koi Farm. Takigawa, not quite what you hoped? Uh, it was difficult. I had a lot of excitement over the sanctuary that we had there, but in reality there were very few that met, met the criteria I wanted. So right now we're at Okawa Koi Farm and we're hoping that we're going to have a lot more luck here. So here we're looking for mainly Mainly to have to, uh, I'm also a little bit curious about the sanctuary. The sanctuary seemed to me to be quite promising, mm -hmm. and for me it's early days. Last year was the first time I tried there. Sure. Sanctuary, so. And the sanctuary from which line? Uh, the sanctuary are from Momo Tero on the female side, okay. the male side being Dainichi Sadazo. Okay, so the guys you can probably see is pulling the pond behind us at the moment. This is their number one so far. This is all of the best so far in this pond. Okay. Yeah. And the so. key parents I'm looking to buy from yep. as well. Chest deep in the murky water of the main Tosai pond, Yonaichi Tanaka starts presenting the koi to Mike in small pan. Yeah, it's Primarily Gosenke, there are also examples of other varieties present. Sanang Haku attracts Mike's attention. The Sanke follows it into the bowl. Having dried off smooth dip in the pond, Yuji Tanaka, the younger of the two brothers, has turned to see how things are progressing and the selections Mike has made so far. Some may be somewhat surprised to see Mike selecting a boat to Jackie from the pond. Not really not. Certainly not his regular type of <laughs> and a surprise to the brother. Well, we now have a number of fish in the bowl. Uh, I just need to check them through now and look at them a little bit closer and decide which ones I want to take. Um, hopefully there'll be a few in there. Yuji Tanaka hauls the bowl from the pond, and it's first chance for both he and Mike to get a close-up look. Although the murky water makes it difficult to really assess them. The Koi moves to a new bowl with clean water, enabling a much better assessment to be made of the Koi Mike has selected. And there's really three or four in here that I like. Um, the Shandan, um, the Shnidan, which is a different parent set to the others. Um, also this one here. Mike starts to narrow down his selection, returning several to the pond. The Kaku narrowed down to these seven, and the Doisy Jackham still remains.
Another kahaku is removed. The Seal True One Pond, which is the main pond of Tati Roy, um, there's some fish from another parent that we're going to pull up now, a parent called Misati. Um, and hopefully I can find a few good ones there um, to go along with the ones I've already collected. Um, that's what they hope for. This smaller pond is clearly a lot easier to make, and the now dried off Yonaichi Kanaka can do so whilst wearing chest waders. Panic has found suggested a haku tonight, which subsequently ends up in the bowl for now. Net after net of Tosa are again rejected by Mike. Only the first kahaku remaining in the bowl. With the pond finished, Mike gives his call. Well, this one, there are a few good ones in there, but nothing really that made the grade for me. Um, some of the body types are good, some of them have good colour, but for the fish to have a whole combination of pattern, quality and body type, there was just nothing there that came together, uh, not for me anyway, so maybe this time we can find some more, but it's a different bloodline again, um, so we'll see what happens, but it's going to be difficult. Net after net of Tosa are quickly rejected, and it seems apparent that there will be nothing here that matches Mike's criteria. Right, well, we're now back with the fish that I initially selected. Um, just now need to make final decisions on which ones. Um, it's difficult because so far this trip I've struggled to get enough points um, or enough good ones. So it's very, very difficult. From three ponds of a car's best tosai, just five kahaku and the Doitsu Kajaka remain. There's one coin here I really like, um, that's this one here. I think this fish, everything about it, is actually very good. Um, the Maritans pretty good, but it's difficult to sell fish really with colour on the eye in that manner. Um, so that makes it a bit difficult. The body is also a little bit too... Uh, too kind of too much volume on it for my liking. I prefer the fish to be a little bit kind of slimmer and not so much of a line underneath the fish. Um, I'd rather that was slightly shallower. So it's difficult. Mike seeks Tanaka Sands thoughts. What do you think? What do you like? All over there. <laughs> Upon checking the Maritim, which Mike already had doubts about, it turned out to be male, resulting in it being rejected. Mike and the Tanaka brothers mull over the koi. The brothers evaluating what they think they are worth, Mike likewise. Mm 
The brothers retreat to discuss things in private. Panic Sam throws the ball firmly into Mike's court. This is a very good try to decide the price. We want to play the ball. How much is that? That's fast for you. <laughs> you can serve them. Oh, I don't know. It's really hard to say, but it's your point, so you have to decide. Ooh. Your place is uh, very high level, then yeah. you can explain to your customer. In yeah. Europe, yeah. Uh, I, I need to do that. Yeah. Because Okawa Sensei, you can explain to the Okawa Sensei, this is homemade uh, blood wine. Yeah. That is very important for us. Mm. So we want to say the whole uh <laughs> not so important for us, but <laughs> we want to say the whole metal line to Europe. Eventually a deal is struck. <laughs> right, well finally we've reached an agreement um, on the three to half that I don't want. The Gajaku for me is kind of a little bit of a novelty factor really. It's a bit unusual, you don't see many Deutsch Gajaku. Um, and that's the only reason for buying that. It's a bit out of character I know. Um, but the Gajakus, I think all three of these are very good. They've all got the right kind of colour quality, the right kind of tea work. Um, and body types are very good as well. So I think all three of these are very easy to get big. Um, the lineage I particularly like as well. So. I'm pleased to, see, to say that we have actually decided on these three, so everything's good. Unfortunately, however, there's still a massive shortfall on numbers on this trip. I've just not succeeded in getting enough good coin. Everywhere I've been, it's been really nothing but a struggle. Um, typically, like previous years, I bought maybe seven or eight fish from here each year, really good ones, but this year, I can only find three that I like. So you can see just how much of a challenge this is.